Hey peeps, uh, February the 3rd, Wednesday. Um, quite a bit's been happening over the last couple of weeks. Eloise had her birthday, as you can see from the videos. And um, <coughs> Bonnie's been madly digging holes like a, um, like a mole, in fact. Well, I think moles dig them. Anyway, um, lots of holes appeared over the land. And uh, we've got quite a few trees, I'll show them over here. Bought a few trees just for Christmas actually, and we've been sheltering them here on the rock faces. Lots of different types, Bonnie knows them all. I'm going to be putting them in different parts around the land, and we're just waiting for some fruit trees to arrive. Friday, we're going to have a few tons of soil delivered so we can really fill the bottom of the of the. Uh, of the holes and then plant all the trees, which would be great fun. So we'll take some videos of that. But I think you saw a little rubbishy video of the tree cutting, but the result is that we've cleared all the way around the houses here. I just wanted to show you. It looks all sparse like it's had a haircut, but it's really opened up the spaces. Here they all are. You saw we drove the tractor back there so none of the trees fell on the roof of Louis's house. <laughs> Um, but anyway, all this new space uh, allows us to Thank think differently you. about yeah, how we the oh, gardens oh, around. Oh, <laughs> well, Philippe knows he's on the he's on TV, so he's back, acting behave badly. Turning on the cement mixer. Okay, just said what he's been doing this morning. He's done, so I'm gonna have a butcher's down here. It's like a building site round here. Mainly because it is. A few more trees chopped down. Yes. Well, we've cleared all those stones over the last few days to make a nice flat patch here. This is where we're going to eat outside the kitchen. So that pile of stones is going to turn into a wall. It's great. We lived for about a year with piles of stones everywhere. And we just thought they were like, oh, we knew they're precious. Didn't know how precious. And we know how to turn that pile of stones into a lovely dry stone wall which we'll do. But yeah, it's all opened up here without these trees. Lovely views. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, uh, just quickly pop in to see how Joao's doing. He's been helping me render. Um, so go and have a look. I've been rendering Josh's bedroom. Looks all different here without the trees. <coughs> a of the butchers up here. This will be the entrance of Josh's bedroom. We've ripped out the windows. And we're plastering the walls. He does a great job of plastering, I tell you. I've done the first coats, and he's put on the last coats and made it all smooth, beautiful, professional at work. So, just one last final coat on that final wall. And then we'll be ready to put in the radiators and uh, new floors and stuff. This is Ellie's room, which you've seen before. First coat's on. <whistles> Sorry about that, 360. So anyway, that's where we're at the moment, just finishing off rendering, and uh, electrician comes tomorrow <laughs> with a fish. Um, and then soil Friday. So all things go on the gardening front and on the building front, which is lovely because just moving out of this cold snap, getting ready for spring and all the energy that comes with it. Um, and hopefully Mr. Farina will be back next week to help us put on the green roof. Um, so that's it. Olha, queres dizer mais uma coisa? No, enough. I said enough. There we go. See you later, peeps. Ciao.